What's up, YouTubers? If I could turn back time, I would bust a move back to 1989 and open some Fleer baseball cards. Looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card, which I do not have in my collection, or the Bill Ripken Naughty Bat Knob that I only have the black box version. So we are going all the way back to the best year of baseball for me as a kid, the year the A's and the Giants went to the World Series. Also, two great baseball movies came out in 1989. We're talking Major League with Rick Wild Thing Vaughn. Wild Thing, also a great hit song by Tone Loke back in 89. And Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner. My wife's favorite movie, Steel Magnolias, also came out in 89. And no matter how many times she's seen it, she knows Pretty Woman's Gonna Die, but she cries every time. Uh, two huge stars, Patrick Swayze had his best movie in 89. We're talking Roadhouse. Uh, Van Damme had Kickboxer. Fred Savage had The Wizard. So just huge stars, huge movies in 89. Also, uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Uh, the Burbs. All right, so anyway, enough of me talking about 1989. I love that year. But we're opening uh, all these packs. I got three Wax, two Cellos, one Rack Pack. We got 159 cards out of a 660-card set. Hoping to Uncle Buck the Odds, which also came out in 1989, and pull the King Griffey Jr. rookie card. So come along with me in a time warp. We'll go back to the future part two, which came out in 1989, and we'll see if we can pull the King Griffey Jr. card. Also some great songs from 1989 came out. Uh, Welcome to the Jungle as part of the, uh, uh, what album was that? I can't remember. Guns N' Roses. Appetite for Destruction, I believe it was. So anyway, there's uh, my Cubs sticker. First wax pack. We're getting right into it. No edits. We've got Jose Akendo. And check out Jose Akendo. He was born on the 4th of July, just like Tom Cruise in 1989. That movie came out. What are the odds? Lee Smith, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Jeff Reed, Louis Rivera, Harold Reynolds, who's also on the top of my cello, my rack pack there. Jose Arebe, too bad it's not his 1990 Flair card. That one's worth about $35,000. Dan Hinkle, oh, that card's horrible. Sorry, Don, or Dan, whatever you are. I'm pretty hyped up. Ramon Martinez, my family and I just got back from Branson, and this is how I'm uh, spending time just getting back from vacation. I'm doing a pack break video. There's uh, Stormy Daniels Davis. Marvelous win, Don Slut, Ken Tocovi. The sad part is, is I looked up what players were born on the 4th of July so I could run that joke, and the very first card out of the first pack was Jose Akendo, the only guy in the set that was born on the 4th of July for me to even pull that storyline. Isn't that awesome? That's the kind of uh, backstory stuff I do for some of my videos, guys. I look up some little tidbits, and hopefully I can throw them into my videos, and uh, that one worked out beautifully. Boston Red Sox sticker, awesome. Terry Leach, don't get a leech in your pants or you might pass out. Joe Orsalak, Charlie O'Brien, Jose De Jesus, Mark Carrion, Corey Snyder, not that happy that his career went down the toilet. Paul O'Neill, check out the video of him when he kicked the ball into the infield. He bobbled it and then uh, punted it back into the infield to keep a runner from scoring from third. Awesome. Rick Sutcliffe, couldn't hold, hammer down that game five against the Padres in 84. Dale Zveem. Greg Minton, Mark Portugal, before he got really fat, and Manny Trujillo, who was an all-star way back in the day. Last wax pack here, open and really easy. Probably been searched, but who gives a rat's crap? I think I've got all these packs for like 11 bucks. They were really cheap. Jeff Kunkel, that's a horrible last name. It just sounds like you're a screw-up. Jeff Parent. George Brett. I do not have the 1989 George Brett. Well, I do now. 89 Flair George Brett, that is. Checklist. Got to get one of those. Bob Walk with the sweet hair flowing. Darnell Coles also. Oh, no. I pulled him earlier. Ozzie Smith. There's a Hall of Famer. Wade Boggs. Back to back. Bill Long. That's what she said. Nick Asaski. No swear words on his bat knobs. Rex Hudler. Mario Diaz. Scott Geraltz. Steve Searcy. There is a handful of rookies in this set that, other than the Griffey, there's, uh, oh, let's see if I can name them off the top of my head. We got Craig Biggio, uh, Gary Sheffield, 
uh, Randy Johnson, which has numerous variations because uh, the Marlboro ad right behind him. We'll see if we pull that one. I can show you guys. Darnell Coles, another Ozzy, another Boggs back to back. Bill Long. These names look very familiar. We've already pulled every single one of these guys, except Tim, who's very leery of his unibrow. Oswaldo Peraza, Bob Nepper with the super porn stash from the 70s. Jose Canseco coming off his 40-40 year. And Jeff Pico from my hometown of Antioch, California. Got his autograph when I was in fifth grade. He came to my uh, elementary school and signed autographs. And of course, me being a card connoisseur, Tom Glavin, second year, I had his uh, tops card. Too bad we'll never see that logo again. And he signed it for me in ballpoint pen, just indented it right on top of the card. Pretty sweet. Rob Dibble. Wallace Johnson looks frightened out of his mind. Who's on the pitching mound? Just scaring the crap out of Wallace. Mickey Brantley. Guillermo Hernandez, Cy Young winner. Jeff Ballard, Mike Scott, always scuffing up the ball. Dick Thong, yes. Ken Phelps bat. Traded for, uh, oh, Jay Buhner way back in the day. Steve Bedrosian, Mitch Wilding, Williams. Strawberry and Will Clark, cool card. Steve Lake and Ron <laughs> Tingly. Ooh, Ron, getting tingly. Still no uh, Griffey. Maybe we'll get lucky in this cello pack. All right, we got Jose Guzman, Paul Assmuncher, one of my favorite middle relievers. Hot Corners, Boggs, and Carney. Larry McWilliams with savage neck to chest hair there. When you have a bridge from your neck hair to your chest hair, you know this is just blazing. Rod Allen, Wally Backman, who was too much of a drunkard to get a uh, coaching position. Dave Schmidt, no relation to Mike. Chris Bozio, who's a racist. Nick Capra, Frank Capra. Bob Ojeda, good thing he ducked on the boat, otherwise he would have got decapitated. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look that up. Horrific boating accident in the spring training. Uh, 1990 or 91 with the Indians. Mark Salas. Joe Price is right. Mike Smithsonian. West Lancaster. Glenn bragging about his 225 career batting average. Terry Clark. Old school White Sox logo. Old school Pirates logo. I'm feeling the Griffey in this pack. Let's see if I'm right. Andres Thomas. Jose Canseco. 4040. Speed and power superstar special. Todd, which hand is he fro worth? Focus. Anytime. Tom Herr with the Twins. I remember him with the Cardinals. Roger McDowell, who was always a goofball. That's probably why he's got a batting helmet on. Billy Ripkin, black box. Put that aside there. Chuck Krim. Bo Jackson. That's cool. I don't have that card. Bob McClure. Scott Balen Hay. Chris Sabo, my favorite player. I loved Chris Sabo so much. He was like my favorite Reds player. I loved when he hit uh, two home runs in, uh, was it game two or three against the A's in the 1990 World Series? So, huge Chris Sabo fan. i got to keep that card in good condition. If I had one touch, I'd put it in there. Charlie Hayes, Steve Spicy Curry, Shawan Dunstan, Paul Molitor. I don't have that card. It looked like it was damaged or something. It's just the ball behind his head. Tony Armas playing into his 50s. And Al Newman, pinch hit extraordinaire, who still managed to bet about 202 every year. But Al Newman, fan favorite. All right. We are down to my rack pack, which has a limited edition for the record card inside. We'll see who we get out of that one. And I don't have my scissors with me, so I'm going to open this pack really crappy. So just bear in mind. Or bear with me is what I meant to say. I don't know why I said bear in mind. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I had KFC for dinner. That's why I'm uh, acting funny. KFC doesn't sit well. Goes down well, but doesn't sit well, if you know what I mean. Herm Winningham. Otis Nixon. Alvin Davis. Let's see. Brett Butler. Tom Brookins has an error in this where he's got the back stats of a different player. I think it was the catcher, Mike Heath, but... Uh, 
I think that's his stats. I'm not sure. Fernando Gum Gum Valenzuela. Mark Williamson. Juan Agosto, whose hat never really looked to seem like it fit on his head. His hat never seemed to look like it fit on his head. Is that what I just said? Anyway, San Alomar Jr. rookie card. Steve Shields. Shane Raleigh. Gino Petrillograph. Ozzy Virgil. A's logo. Cool. Just about my third or fourth Harold Reynolds, it seems. Another Uribe. <laughs> Don Hinkle. It gets better with age. Romo Martinez. Pete Stanisek. Kevin Big Mouth Bass. Stormy Daniels Davis. Don Slut. Kenta Colby with the Shades. Cecil Espy Award winner. Espy Award winner for biggest wad of chewing tobacco. Dude's got a softball in there. Charlie Puglio. Another Sabo with Bobby Bonilla. What's with Bobby Bonilla's face right there? He looks like he's part of a boy band there. Put that back there with my Sabo collection. Luis Alisea. Jack Howell. Half of the angels in this set have a white halo rather than a yellow halo. That Jack has a yellow halo. John Cerruti. Lance Blankenship. Bob Dernier. I remember he hit a walk-off inside the park three-run home run against the Giants in 1989. Look that one up. Jim Clancy. Bobby Benilla without Chris Sabo. Juan Berenger. Checklist. Tom Two Princes by the Spin Doctors. Steve Bye Bye Balboni, or Bye Bye Photogenic, Photogenicness. Terry Pendleton, Roger Clemens, and Melito Perez. No Griffey rookie, but my, for the record, is Greg Maddox and a Padres logo. So that was my trip back into 1989. It was full of Chris Sabos, but not King Griffey Jr. rookie cards, unfortunately. We did pull the black box. Bill Ripken. There's a white scribble and, of course, the regular air. This is the most easy to find, I guess. The most readily available. I already had one. So, but anyway, that was uh, all my 1989 Flare cards that I had. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we will see you next time.